filtering columns in Excel is not possible. Filtering rows is very easy. You probably know that you go to data, data and turn the filter on and you get all these drop down buttons that allow you to filter. I'm turning that off. But if you want to do that for columns, that is not possible. Of course, you can transpose this whole thing. But if you want to keep this structure, you need VBA in order to make this happen. If I do Control Shift F, I get filters here. Let's say I want for item 3, I want only the columns that have 30 in it. And it found only two. Uh, if you want all in item 8, if you want all the blanks, it will give you all the blanks and there are 12 in there. If you want all of them back, you just click on the dash and you get everything back. If you are done with the filters, you do Ctrl Shift X and it gives you the original table back. How did we do that? Alt F11 takes you to Visual Basic. In a module, module 1, insert a module, I created a subroutine that I call Fill Filters and I put a shortcut behind it. You declare a few variables and then I say if there is already in range A1 the word filters then exit the sub. Otherwise choose range A2 or A3 or whatever it has to be something inside that table insert the entire column in that column A then set O range which is of the range type to sheet 5. Sheet 5 happens to be the sheet that I have my table in range A2 current region or A3 or whatever you want then with O range and make sure that you stop that end with at the end and in that end with we are going to say take from O range all the cells dot cells takes it off O range entire column hidden equals false then put in the first cell of that range the word filters then run from row number 2 to dot rows count or maybe you want to start in row 3 that's up to you and then I have to go looping through all the columns I start in column 3 but maybe you start in column 4 columns count if the worksheet function count if finds in the range cells r comma column 3 up to cells r column C, that is the column we are in in the loop now, C runs from 3 to count, then if the count, if, if you find in that range whatever is in cells R, C, and if that is 1, then add that value to the filter. So S filter is what I had already in S filter with a comma, and then add that value. And if, then do the next column loop. So that gives us, after I have looped for all the columns, the filter content separated by commas. I put that in an array because I want to sort that array. I don't want the order I found them, but the order in which they should be in ascending order. So array is declared as a variant. A variant can hold an array. So I use the split function based on S filter and I split it at a comma and store that in array. Then I do a loop. It loops B done is false. I set B done, which is of the Boolean type, to true. Then I loop from I equals 1. This is the simplest sorting algorithm you could ever think of. It is not the best one. It's not very fast, but fast enough for your needs probably. Then you want the last element in the array minus 1. If element i is greater than the next element in the array, so I always need a next element, that is why I did minus 1 here, then set b done to false, store array i in a temp variable, then store in array i now the next item, and store in the next item as temp. Then I put the filter together again, I use the join function, I take the array and I put a comma in between the elements. And then we are going to use the validation tool in Excel, that, because that allows to make a drop down button, so that is a trick I am using. 
So with dot cells R1 validation, dot delete what was in there already, add a validation list with the formula equals a dash, in case you want everything, and what we had found in S filter. And at the end we add one more element blanks. Okay, then we reset S filter to an empty string. And finally in that range we show all the cells where the hidden is false. Then I created a delete filters subroutine, also with a shortcut. If range A1 equals filters, then make sure that no column is hidden. Delete the first column with all the filters in it and just go to the new cell A1. And then finally I did one more routine, subroutine, but that I'm going to access with a worksheet event. I will show you that soon, so not with a shortcut. So I use an argument in there, O filter as a range, so I can pass on to that filtering subroutine which range are we in. Set O range to the current region around range A2 or range A3 or whatever. Store in S cell the value of O filter. Then I do a bunch of checks where I exit the sub. Then I show all the columns again in O range. I store the filter row, the cell you had clicked on in which row it is, I store that in, uh, store that in I row, with O range, which is the current region. I look for all the columns, probably starting in column 3, but maybe in 4 in your database. If cells row C is not S cell, and S cell was the O filter value, then I hide that column that the cell is in. Otherwise I bring I count up by 1. It starts at 0 automatically each time, so it will be plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. I, I want to count how many I found that I should show. And then I show that number in the message box, how many columns we have and which row are we talking about. So how do we implement that filtering one? We do that in the sheet that you have your information on. And I put two events in there. A change event and a selection change event. How do you get those? You make sure that you choose the worksheet object and then you choose the event that you want. And these are the two we want. We want selection change and change. The change event means when something changes in that cell. When I click on the drop down box and I choose another value, then I want to make filtering kick in. And filtering had an argument, a range. The target, the target is the one of the cell you changed. And I do that only if the target column equals 1. For if you click in another cell, we don't want anything to happen. We, we just make sure a few things that if someone did not click on a specific target and exit the sub, and if we don't have the filters column, then don't do anything. If they click on one of those cells, then we want to make sure that the filters are on, otherwise exit the sub and I do a few other checks and I say if the value e happens to be empty exit the sub but otherwise use that filtering that we created in the module based on that target. So that is basically what happens here. If I uh, start Control shift f it put those filters in. Now I click on the selection change event because I am going somewhere. So and now I am changing something in there, so it will do that check. If I don't want that anymore, Control shift x will give me everything back and it takes that column out.